Hello students my name is Alok Simal and in today's lecture I am going to talk about introduction and classification of antihypertensive agents So before starting antihypertensive agents we have to understand what is hypertension Hypertension is also known as high blood pressure it is a long term medical condition in which blood pressure in the arteries is persistently elevated Blood pressure is the force of blood pushing against the wall of arteries as your heart pumps out blood into the arteries Its level varies with age, sex, level of physical activity, and emotional changes. Hypertension refers to the sustained elevation of blood pressure above normal range. According to the World Health Organization, hypertension is defined as systolic or diastolic pressure persistently higher than 140 or 90 mmHg. Risk factors of hypertension include increasing age, family history, overweight, and smoking. Sometimes, high blood pressure may also be caused by certain medicines. or diseases such as kidney or endocrine diseases next is disease etiology etiology is the cause set of causes or manner of causation of a disease or condition hypertension is of two types primary hypertension and secondary hypertension primary hypertension is the elevation in blood pressure without an identified cause secondary hypertension is the elevation in blood pressure with an exact cause This type is account for 5 to 10% of total cases. The cause of this type of hypertension include congenital narrowing of aorta, renal diseases, endocrine disorders, neurological disorders, sleep apnea, medications like contraceptive pills, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, cocaine, and cirrhosis of liver. Risk factors associated with hypertension are age, alcohol, smoking, diabetes mellitus excessive dietary intake of sodium gender family history obesity and stress management of hypertension is possible by two ways lifestyle modification and pharmacological management lifestyle modification include weight reduction dash diet dietary sodium intake reduce alcohol exercise stress management etc Dash diet is dietary approaches to stop hypertension. Second, pharmacological management include various groups of drugs used in the treatment of hypertension which are collectively called as antihypertensive drugs. So antihypertensives are a class of drugs that are used to treat hypertension which is high blood pressure condition. Antihypertensives therapy seeks to prevent the complications of high blood pressure such as stroke and myocardial infarction. A stroke occurs when the blood supply to part of your brain is interrupted or reduced, preventing brain tissue from getting oxygen and nutrients. Brain cells begin to die in minutes. A myocardial infarction also known as heart attack, it occurs when blood flow decreases or stops to a part of the heart, causing damage to the heart muscle. The most common symptom is chest pain or discomfort which may travel into the shoulder, arm, back, neck or jaw. Classification of antihypertensive drugs includes several main categories which are further subdivided into several subcategories. First main category is of diuretics. Diuretics are the agents which helps the kidneys to inhibit the sodium reabsorption in the distal convoluted tubules, ascending limb and loop of Henle. Second main category is sympholytic drugs. These are the agents that decrease the activity of the sympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic drugs are further subdivided in several subcategories such as centrally acting drugs, ganglionic blocking drugs, adrenergic neuron blocking drugs, beta adrenergic blocking drugs, alpha adrenergic blocking drugs and mixed alpha beta adrenergic blocking drugs. Third main category is of vasodilators. These medications act directly on the muscles in the wall of arteries and prevent the muscles from tightening and arteries from narrowing. Fourth main category include calcium channel blockers. These medications will block the movement of extracellular calcium into the cells and causing vasodilation and decreased heart rate. Fifth main category is angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. This group of medication will reduce the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 and prevents vasoconstriction. Last category is angiotensin antagonists. 
Angiotensin antagonists are a group of pharmaceuticals that bind to and inhibit the angiotensin second receptor type 1 and thereby block the arterial contraction and sodium retention effects of renin angiotensin system. In this classification, red marked drugs are included in PCI syllabus. First main category is diuretics. Diuretics have long been used for the treatment of hypertension. Drugs in this category include hydrochlorothiazide, furosemide, amyloride, and spironolactone. Second main category is of syntholytic drugs. First subcategory includes centrally acting drugs. Drugs in this category are methyl dopa hydrochloride, clonidine hydrochloride, guanabenz acetate, and guanethidine monosulfate. Second subcategory of syntholytic drugs include ganglionic blocking agents such as trimethaphan camsylate and macamelamine. Next subcategory of syntholytic drugs include adrenergic neuron blocking drugs. Reserprine is an important drug of this category. Next subcategory is beta adrenergic blocking drugs. It include timolol, etinolol and metoprolol. Next one, alpha adrenergic blocking drugs, prezosin and terazosin are the main drugs in this category. Last subcategory of symptholytic drugs include mixed alpha beta adrenergic blocking drugs. It includes labitolol and carvedilol. Third main category include vasodilators. Drugs in this category are hydralazine, minoxidil, diazoxide, and sodium nitroposide. Fourth main category is of calcium channel blockers. Drugs in this category are verapamil, diltiazem, and nifedipine. Fifth main category include angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. Drugs included in this category are Captopril, Enelapril, Benazapril hydrochloride, Lisinopril, and Quinapril hydrochloride. Last main category include angiotensin antagonists. Losartan and Candisartan are the main drug candidates of this category. Thank you.